Greetings! I am Herbert Erpaderp, and today I'm continuing my Grimball's Beast box build. I will include a link to the previous video in which I've built the Shermans, and a link to the Grimball's Beast playlist will be in the description. Today we will be tackling the Armoured Rifle Platoon without their half tracks. Tune in next week for those. Let's have a look at the two infantry sprues included in this box. These are quite neatly cast and error free. The detail is pretty good for 15mm scale. I'm generally not a fan of 15mm scale infantry, but so far I can't complain about these. There are quite a lot of different kinds of infantry figures. You might notice that Battlefront has been thoughtful enough to include a letter for each different kind to make them easily identified. R stands for Rifleman, NCO is a non-commissioned officer, and so forth. That's pretty helpful for something that could easily be confusing. Also included is a baggie of bases, 8 large and 6 small. Of course, no instructions are included, and a link to the appropriate instructions can be found in the description below. The aforementioned instructions were really quite helpful in figuring out which figures to put on each base. I spent a fair while clipping the figures off the sprues and placing them on bases in accordance with the force organisation chart. I did my best to arrange them in interesting configurations that make sense. There were a few figures left over at the end. There is a little bit of variation possible with these, but not a lot. To be fair, there isn't a lot of assembly required for these models. Most of the work was in cleaning the mould lines from each figure. The mould lines weren't too bad, but I did not enjoy having to scrape them all off. It took a fair while. The machine guns are about as complicated as this build got. These come in three pieces. I cleaned them up just like the other figures, and then the arms for both men and the machine gun base have to be glued on. I found it easier to glue one arm, leave it to dry a bit, and then glue the other arm so the parts don't try to separate from the bodies before the glue dries. The arm with the machine gun itself can then be glued into place. This is a little bit annoying and I wish these figures were one piece just like the rest. I then fill two spaces in a large base with the supplied filler pieces and glue down the machine gun crew. I then glued this grenade throwing rifleman onto the base because I thought he was a more interesting looking option than the regular rifleman. I made the same choice for one of my bazooka teams. They do have specific loaders but I thought it would be more interesting to have one throwing a grenade. The loader that was intended for that bazooka team was placed with a rifle team. He does have a rifle after all, and using him this way adds a bit more interest and variety. This is my wild rebellion against the instructions. Take that. These infantry stands are effectively complete now, but I don't like the gaps between the figures' bases and the brown bases, so I filled them with green stuff. This should help the base look a little bit better when it's painted and decorated. I'm sure I don't need to cover filling gaps with green stuff too extensively. It is pretty easy. Just keep your tool wet so it doesn't stick, and press the green stuff into place. I haven't bothered to add extra details like tree branches to these bases, but I might do so before painting. That's really about all there is to these. Not much building to Flames of War infantry, I guess. I won't say that this was my favourite set of models to assemble, but for 15mm scale infantry, I think these are quite good. There was more variety in this platoon than any of the Soviet platoons I've put together, which I quite like. There's enough different figures included to allow for all the stands to be interesting and a little bit different from each other. I've done my best to try and tell small stories with each stand of infantry, such as men yelling at each other while running towards the enemy. This kit allowed me to do a fair bit of that. If you're interested in this armoured rifle platoon, but not the rest of the Grimble's Beast box, this is available for purchase separately. It also comes with the half tracks. I will be building the half tracks next week, so be sure to stick around for the final Grimble's Beast assembly video. If you're interested in buying this box, I would suggest that now is a good time, as the Flames of War site has a 33% off sale happening now. It goes until December 1st, 2015, so you have about a week from the upload date of this video to get some discounted models. Sorry if you're watching from the future. Enjoy your hover car. Hopefully this video was helpful or interesting for you. Don't forget to click subscribe if you want to see more, and leave any comments you have in the comment section below or on Facebook or Twitter, both of which are linked in the video description. Thanks for watching. Farewell.